Hey, what's up? This is Reed. I was reading through the comments recently and one of you had an awesome idea, solving smart home challenges that you send in. Many of you run into issues while setting up automations around your house. And this video series will help you solve some of those issues and hopefully spark some ideas as well, starting with this video. I'll show you how to do automations on a low or high budget and stick around to the end to find out how to submit your ideas. In the comment, he challenged me to make my washing machine smart. Many people accidentally leave their clothes in the washer after it's done. Ugh. This automation will help you remember to get your clothes out so they don't get all mildewy. Doing this on a budget might not be what you would expect. Let me explain. Most people, including the person that commented, would think to use a wise contact sensor on the washing machine door. I wanted it to set a timer when I opened, loaded, and closed the washing machine. I looked at using IFT and wise rules, but the only feasible way is with a Alexa routines, unless you use Home Assistant, which I'm not going to get into in this video. Alexa routines are very limited though. I could only have it announce or alert me after the lid had been closed for a certain amount of time. There are many flaws with doing it this way, so I wouldn't necessarily choose this option. But there is another way to do it, which is better, and it doesn't cost that much more. Using a smart outlet, you can measure the power usage of your washing machine. Here's how the automation works. When it drops to zero watts for over five minutes, you can get a notification to let you know that your washer is done. SmartThings makes two smart outlets that you can use. One is $18 and it uses Wi-Fi, and surprisingly, it doesn't need the SmartThings hub to work. The other uses Zigbee, and this is the older version, but they're both rated up to 15 amps, so make sure to check your washer's power consumption before you try this. I recommend using WebCore for this, which is just a smart app that runs on SmartThings, and I'll show you how I set mine up in the article. However, you might be able to get away with using just the automations in SmartThings. You can take it a step further by putting a multi-purpose sensor on the door. That way it can keep alerting you until you finally get off the couch and get your clothes out of the washer. If a smart outlet is not an option, you could only use this sensor because it has a vibration sensor in it so it can tell if the lid is closed and if the washing machine is on from the vibrations of the machine. This worked well for the washing machine, but it also picked up the vibrations of the dryer, so I might need to work on this one a little bit more. This is more usable and accurate than Wise Sense, so for this challenge, I would probably spend a little bit more to use smart things. The next challenge is one that I just challenged myself, having the lights flash when the doorbell is pressed. I've briefly shown this one before, but I've had a lot of people ask how to do this on a budget. To start off, I'm using the Eufy doorbell and some inexpensive smart light bulbs. Similar to last time, I'm using Alexa routines, which is a great way to have automations on a budget. This was the best solution I could come up with with the cheaper bulbs. It's not ideal though, and if there is a better way that you know of, please let me know down in the comments. Yes, the light changes colors and turns on and off when the doorbell is pressed, but there's a few issues. One, it flashes very slowly, and second, it doesn't return to its on or off state before the doorbell is pressed. You may only want this to run during the day anyways, so having the light turn off after flashing may work for you. This is where the more expensive bulbs really shine. Both LifeX and Hue are able to flash their lights without these issues, and there's a couple of ways of setting this up, with IFT or WebCore. If you're using Ring or a doorbell that works with IFT, you can set the lights to breathe or blink. The Eufy doorbell does not work with IFT, but there is a workaround. You can use an Alexa routine to call the IFT applet to flash the lights. Now this might seem a little complicated at first, but trust me, this is the easier way of doing this. To make the IFT applet available in the routines, create the applet with Alexa as the trigger. That way when you press the Eufy doorbell, it triggers the routine that calls the applet that flashes the lights. Wow, that was a lot, and hopefully that made sense to you. But if that was too easy for you, then maybe you should look at WebCore. It's a little bit more complex, but it gives you a lot more options. You'll need to use a doorbell-like ring that's compatible with SmartThings. With WebCore, you can flash any lights that are connected to SmartThings when the doorbell is pressed. So if you're using budget-friendly smart bulbs like SendGled, you could use those. From my experience, the LifeX Breathe feature works the best though. You can call this from WebCore and it looks much more smooth. All right, now I'm gonna talk about how you can submit your own automation challenges for me to work on. To keep it organized, don't comment your ideas here on YouTube. 
Instead, use the form linked down below. If I use your idea, I'll send a little something your way. So make sure to put in your email, but it's completely optional. I'm excited and a little scared to see what you guys might challenge me to automate. But make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Read, it's time to change the laundry. I'm giving you to the count of 10 to get your ugly no good keister into no, the laundry room. Just, just wait, come on, just wait. One, two, ten. Are you serious? It's been like 30 seconds. I need to tone down these automations.